The National Day of Prayer. A fifth grade wax museum. Mm. This is WCA, <laughs> WCA Weekly. Weekly. Hello, I'm your host, Isaac Ed Davis. I'm your co-host, Michael G. Duncan. And welcome to episode 32 of WCA Weekly for May the 2nd of 2013. Today is National Day of Prayer. Be sure to pray today for our school and our nation. Tomorrow, the fifth grade class will be holding a wax museum in the cafetorium. This yearly event benefits kindergarten teacher Teresa Randall for her mission trip. For more information, please contact Mrs. Randall. WCA's elementary school will be hosting a spring concert on May the 7th at 2 p.m. here at WCA. So make sure you attend. WCA's AP students will be taking AP exams over the next two weeks. So good luck students and study hard. Get good grades on those exams because you'll need them for next year. Prom is also coming up in just two weeks on May 18th. Hopefully everyone is excited as we are yes, we're for great. what will be a great night. Prom! Yes. <laughs> Stay tuned to WCA Weekly for updates on what will be a busy month busy. of May here at WCA. May is so busy. And now with sports news, here is Claire McMurray. Hey guys, Claire McMurray back for another exciting sports news week. In our final days of sports week for this year, on Friday, May 3rd, there will be a JJV boys baseball game against St. Mary's, and there will also be a varsity girls softball game against Atlantic Shores. Both those games will be away. On Monday, May 6th, at 3 p.m., tennis will play Summit Christian, varsity golf will play Summit Christian, and at 4 p.m., JJV boys baseball will play Mount Carmel. On Tuesday, May 7th, JJV boys baseball will play against Trinity Lutheran, and they'll also be playing against St. Mary's Catholic on Thursday, May 9th. That's all the sports news for this week. For WCA Weekly, I'm your sports editor, Claire McMurray. Now here's World News with Jonathan Namalkin. Hello everyone, I'm your host Jonathan Demelkin for WCA World News. For starters in the world news, the Army is saying no to buying more tanks, while Congress keeps insisting that they do otherwise. In other news, over 20,000 people applied to be the first settlers on Mars for the Mars One Project, set to launch in 2023. Virginia is to charge $100 a year to owners of electric and hybrid cars. The internet bill, CISPA, died in the Senate. That's it for WCA World News. I've been your host, Jonathan Demelkon, and I'll see you next week. Back to you, Isaac. And before we go and close this show, please subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to view anything that we post, because that's important to your lives. WCA's YouTube channel is the perfect place, 100%, uh, to watch videos from everything going on here at WCA. So go to the YouTube, well, you're on the YouTube channel now, so, yeah. Keep up to date with everything that is going on here at WCA Weekly. Check out our social media links here, as well as the links in the description of this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. I like that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. That was awesome.